Lift heavy, swing fast athletes. Drop sets have entered the programming this week and they will be in there until the in season starts in the first week of April. So a few reasons why I've put drop sets in our workouts. One, time efficiency. All right, we're at the last bit of off season training. I want to make sure we add in a little more volume and a really great way to do that is with drop sets. Why they're time efficient is because there's not a big rest period in between the final set of our partials that we're doing and our first set of our drop set, all right? You will take as little time as you possibly can to change your weights and then immediately do your drop set, all right? So if you have a big rack set up or something and you don't wanna strip off all the weights, what I've been doing is I've been just quickly adjusting and grabbing some dumbbells. So what that would look like here is let's say this had my weight loaded up on it. Let's say it had 100 pounds. All right, as soon as I finish this partial set, I would wanna drop that down to at least like 65, 70 pounds or something like that. All right, and then I would do my drop set. And your drop set can be as many reps as you can get. I've put in there two reps shy of failure. So that's technique failure. So as soon as it starts to go to shit, you just stop two reps shy of failure. All right, so what that would look like for a time consistency part is I would lift this off. I would bang out my partial. So let's say this is my last super set or my last um, set of partials. Boom, I'm finishing them. I did the other side too. And then a really quick way to do it, I would just come over here and grab dumbbells. All right, and then boom, I would go into the full range. I think that's a great way to do it. If you can quickly adjust your barbell, by all means, just do that, all right? But if you've got it set up where the spotter arms are there, maybe it's inside of a rig or something like that, just quickly go grab something else. Maybe it's a kettlebell and that'll do it for you. All right, there's so many positives to that that'll help you build muscle, increase your endurance. One, one reason why it'll help you increase your endurance is because we're cutting out the rest period and you're gonna go into those lighter weights. All right, so not a whole lot of recovery time. You're gonna help your muscles build that endurance. What I think is a really cool thing about doing drop sets is you go from a heavy weight that we're only doing for you know, six reps, and especially when it's a partial range of motion, and then you drop weight and go into, or dro yeah, drop weight and go into a lighter set. That works two different muscle fibers between the fast twitch and the slow twitch when doing heavy weight versus light weight. So, so many cool benefits to using drop sets and just that mental toughness, they're hard, you know, especially if you're going down to a lighter weight that you can control pretty well and you can push it pretty far because you're not so afraid of it like crashing down on you, you know, and you're only going two reps shy of failure. So you've got a couple reps there that you know that you're not gonna fail. So you can really, really push yourself, all right? So I think these are a great way to wrap up off-season training. Remember in in-season training, we will see quite a bit less volume. All right. So be prepared for that and be prepared to play your best this year. So hope you guys are enjoying the final off season cycle. Well, there'll be another off season cycle when the off season rolls back around, but until the in season starts and I'm just calling it in April cause the masters is in April. So we're going to call that in season golf. Thanks guys.